So we would start by creating a project using white. This is the command which is I would be using in my terminal to create a new project. So I'm currently in my terminal now. I just uh, pasted the command which created a new folder. I would just go inside this folder and install the de dependencies. I would open this folder inside my VS code and uh, run the project which would run by default on port uh, 5173 which I would change to port 8080 by making some changes in the config file. So let's talk about why um, linting is important. It avoids bad commits. It avoids uh, using variables which you did not declare. So let's uh, just take an example. Uh, for example, here we don't uh, want console statements. I'm just printing a console statement for uh, illustration. So these are the steps we follow in installation of uh, ESLint and Husky pre-commit hooks. So we also have some scripts in package.json file. And lastly, we will install uh, Husky through npx husky init command. So this is uh, uh, me installing um, the CSLint package. And uh, then we would install the view plugin for ESLint. And then uh, we would create this uh, ESLint.config.js file uh, with some bare minimum settings. We would have this uh, no console uh, rule applied, uh, which would um, uh, throw an error in case we have a console statement. I am currently in my uh, package.json file and uh, currently adding the uh, scripts to run the linting. Uh, there are two uh, scripts, one which uh, runs the lint and the other which tries to fix uh, some trivial linting problems automatically without manual intervention. So I just ran the linting command and we saw quite a few warnings and uh, one single error which is uh, because of the console statement we had in the on mounted hook. So if we remove this uh, console statement we, and uh, run linting again, we should have uh, eliminated errors. So let's run uh, lint script again. As you can see, uh, the error is gone, warnings are still there, which we can try uh, eliminating by running the lint fix script. As you can see, uh, this is the rule, only rule which I applied in the ESLint config file, the co no console rule, uh, rule. So now I just ran this npx uh, husky init command, uh, which would configure husky in uh, this project. It would create a directory uh, with the dot husky name and it would have this uh, pre-commit file where we can uh, uh, hook some operations to run just before a commit is made. Ideally, we can um, obviously um, r run the linting script just before uh, we made a commit uh, to make sure that uh, we are following coding standards. We are not using irrelevant console statements. We are uh, not having any uh, unused variables. So yeah. Okay, I'm not just adding all the files, uh, staging and then uh, uh, just adding a commit. So if you notice, let this commit uh, complete. And uh, yeah, it's done. And if I scroll down above, I can see the warning messages. So warning messages, uh, they got printed because we ran the lending script just before the commit operation. So yeah, that is it for this video. If this video was useful to you, please consider liking this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more uh, tech related contents. Thank you and uh, see you again in another video.